Welcome to the Amber Lynn Files. This video is going to be split into a secondary video because there's just so much about this individual and I really don't want this to be roughly two hours in length. This video serves as an introduction whereas my secondary episode two of Amber Lynn will be double in length combined with even more information that you may or may not know. But before we begin, special thanks to our sponsor of the channel today. You've heard of them before, Raid Shadow Legends. I've been playing this game for the last week. For those of you who haven't heard, Raid Shadow Legends is an amazing dark fantasy RPG. If you're not playing, you need to start right now. Mainly because it's now available for PC and Mac. It's super easy to install, and it's completely cross-platform. There's over 400 champions to collect and customize. My two personal favorite champions are actually the Gladiator and the Grappler. I'm having a lot of fun with it on desktop PC, and you're more than welcome to join me. You search my name, Mr. Repsion. But the best part of all is that Raid Shadow Legends is absolutely free to play. You can start playing right now by hitting that link in the description box, and on doing so, you're going to receive 50,000 free silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program. Support the channel, click the link. It's absolutely free. So who exactly is Amber Lynn? Well, she's been on this platform for roughly six to seven years, and she's been making the same type of videos for literally six to seven years. And if you go to her channel, she has roughly 130, 140,000 subscribers. But you're going to notice one key factor is that every single one of her videos is massively disliked. Now, you may ask the question as to why, since you've never, maybe you've never heard of this individual, but there are a lot of reasons why, which we're going to explore here today. And this, again, is just an introduction. You see, Amber Lynn promotes her channel as a weight loss YouTube channel. There's a lot of those documented here on YouTube. I don't know if you've seen the most recent show, TLC, of the two sisters. One was 400 pounds, the other is 600 pounds. She goes by the name Amy Slayton. I gotta make it really clear is that I am in full support of anyone losing weight. If you're 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 600 pounds, doesn't matter your weight, I fully support anyone going through the proper steps to lose that weight and be healthy. Amy Slayton is a fantastic example of someone who wants to have a child one day, but she has to hit a certain weight in order to even be able to have a kid. But in order for her to do that, she has to be healthy, and thus, she's on a documentary series on TLC, losing weight. This is what she looks like right now. This was her at 400 something, and now she's lost almost 100 pounds, and she's making progress, and that's the type of progress that I absolutely stand behind on people making life changes that help them for the better, and will ultimately help their life to be healthier, and allow them to live longer. In the case of Amber Lynn, however, this is not, you can't even compare somebody like Amber to that of Amy Slayton. One wants genuine change, the other says they do, but they never do anything to prove it, but instead gives lies, excuses, false accusations, and tries to hurt other people. Ingredients, rice cake, which is rice, refined salt, and then seasonings. I was like, okay, I could probably eat like this every day. I don't have to eat tons of fruit and veggies. Like, okay, if I could lose weight and not have to eat those, cool. So I have some, these are supposed to be fried dumplings, but to me, they never really seem fried, which I don't mind. And then we have some like sauce. I don't really know what it is, but I think there's some green onion in there it's a singapore rice noodle i'll show you guys like a close-up but but anyways so i logged everything and my sodium was over four thousand milligrams a thousand sodium the diet plan he put me on was like seven to eight hundred calories and it was just so much sodium I'm nervous for the green beans <laughs> Because making fresh green beans to me is hard because I'm not like used to it. So I'm going to do a little taste test. It's okay. Um, I didn't add any salt. We're doing a thing where we don't add any salt to anything. All I added was garlic powder and garlic salt, which is like sodium free or whatever. So one of the things you're often going to find is that Amber Lynn pretends to be a health expert in areas of nutrition, 
calories, sodium, and many other particular areas of the food. This is just one small little example of Amber eliminating salt from her diet, but then uses garlic salt, which if anyone has very common sense, you would know that garlic salt has salt in it, thus sodium. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory, but there's a lot of instances like this with Amber Lynn that are just incorrect and actually spreads misinformation. I was so swollen. It could be a sodium thing. It probably is a sodium thing. Garlic salt. Onion powder. Pepper. That right there was a live demonstration of a piece of salmon that she poured in an excessive amount of <laughs> an excessive amount of garlic salt and onion powder. I'm I'm talking well, look, I I'm not a professional nutritionist, but that amount of seasoning was way, way more than it should have been. And by putting that much garlic salt on a, you know, healthy piece of fish, your sodium intake is really going to be equal to however much sodium you're ingesting when you're seasoning it that much. Seasoning is seasoning for a reason because typically you don't have to use a lot of seasoning. Having been semi good at cooking, I use garlic salt quite often. And I don't even know how somebody can pour that amount on a small little fillet of fish like that it would completely ruin it. It would literally make the fish unedible at that point. But he would rather me eat like sodium filled beef jerky and he'd rather me go to McDonald's and have a cheeseburger over broccoli. I don't feel comfortable eating only 700 calories. And having over 4,000 milligrams of sodium, it just doesn't, makes sense to me, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I want to be able to eat vegetables. I personally like vegetables. I mean, I don't eat them every day. I do want you guys to know that I'm the queen of like moderation. I lost 89 pounds before. You don't need a gym membership to get a workout. All you need is two legs, two feet, two arms. Even then, you don't even need that. So we were going back and forth and he was telling me what to eat. He was telling me what kinds of foods I like because he didn't want me to eat things I didn't like, obviously. So he didn't mention anything of fruits and vegetables. Good nutritional diet is to have fruits and vegetables. But he wasn't mentioning like fruits and vegetables. And for some reason that just like surprised me for some reason. If I have like veggies or whatever, like broccoli. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. But he was like, make sure you don't have a lot of it because it's filled with tons of carbs. And I was just like, okay. Good nutritional diet is to have fruits and vegetables. But he wasn't mentioning like fruits and vegetables. And for some reason that just like surprised me for some reason. It's this really low calorie whole grain bread, little bit of mayonnaise. I only use mayonnaise on one side as you can tell. And I just use some rotisserie chicken. Good nutritional diet is 
to have fruits and vegetables. There's so, spring rolls. Spring rolls. This is filled with veggies and they're actually really good. Oh my god, they're hot. She just brought them out right now. Yum. So here's my sushi. This is California roll and this is a fried, well, it's shrimp tempura with avocado on top. She doesn't understand nutrition like I do. I haven't had this in, um, it's been a hot minute. It's good. If I have like veggies or whatever, like broccoli, and he was like, yeah, that's fine. But he was like, make sure you don't have a lot of it because it's filled with tons of carbs. And I was just like, okay. The broccoli is the best part. And there's only like four pieces. Mmm. Erica's right. This was good. Um. Huh. Um. Good nutritional diet is to have fruits and vegetables. I believe in moderation. I live the moderation lifestyle, as you will. What you just saw is a very small snippet, which will be far more in my next video, but this is, again, an introduction. Um, yes, that is a, I think, cucumber or zucchini. That's cucumber, I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty sure. That cucumber, right, is really, really healthy. So ideally, you want to slice that up or eat it the way that Amber is eating it. But there's a fundamental problem, and I'm not, you know, going to be Mr. Obvious here, but I want to ask you, my audience, What's the problem here with eating this delicious, juicy cucumber? Uh-oh, they're coming for me. It's loaded, loaded, I mean plastered, as you can see, with, uh, with cream cheese. And cream cheese is very, 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 very high in calorie amount. Uh, like, if you want to put a little bit of cream cheese, a tiny little smidgen or a little bit, that's fine. I don't have any problem with people doing that. But you can't have something like a cucumber and pure like fruits and veggies and then just smother it with things like cream cheese or chocolate or um, in her case cream cheese and bacon strips on a piece of cucumber um, that completely defeats the purpose of veggies and, and, and fruits if you're dipping it in things that are high calorie amount. For example, I have an avocado in um, my refrigerator right now. Now if I was to cut up that avocado um, and eat it plain, that would be a really yummy, and you know, there's some good fatty acids in those avocados, and they're healthy, it's a fruit, but there's a problem. I can't grab a gigantic bottle of ranch dressing and smother ranch dressing all over that avocado if I'm trying to eat extremely healthy and not have a high calorie intake. Did you know that if you were to go to McDonald's and actually order one of their little salads, with some lettuce, cheese, and tomato, that using the dressing on that is actually the the majority of the calories that you're intaking is, is from the dressing itself. Dressing, overall, ranch dressing, is riddled with lots of sugar and lots of calories, thus making anything that you eat, you can eat something healthy, but if you counteract that with other unhealthy things, it, 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 can't, it cancels itself out. You know, if you're eating green beans, and you dab it a little bit of salt on top of that, but then get a half a pound of cheese and smother it all over that, that dairy intake is, is going to contribute to way more extra calories. Thus, the question has to be asked, are you actually eating healthy?
The answer is no. You can't lose weight by counteracting your healthy eating with unhealthy stuff on the healthy fruits and veggies. It just doesn't work that way. Good nutritional diet is to have fruits and vegetables. Counting calories is like the number one way of losing weight. A lot of people in the comments are questioning if I know how to count calories or not, which is quite annoying because yes, I am morbidly obese, but I am the pro at counting calories. I have been doing it since I was 11. You're asking why it's not working? Because I give up. Your calorie, like that was low calories, like the banana and the macchiato, but you need to eat more, I feel like, substance when you first wake up. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, have you ever tried like avocado toast? I, you know, the thing is, I feel each new diet change, but I never ever stop and truly just give up because I give up and truly just give up because I give up. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have ate a little bit more than 6,000 calories today. I know how to lose weight. I have the knowledge. I know what's healthy versus not. So Texas Roadhouse was jammed packed. So Becky and I decided to go to this Chinese restaurant that we really like. I got two rat crab rangoon, an egg roll, two pieces of this like chicken stuff that I like, tons of white rice as you guys can tell, and a little bit of this like curry vegetable stuff that I really like. So that is what I got from there. I really hate food right now. I hate food so bad, but I'm about to stuff my face. This is honestly the truth of what is about to happen right now. There are times that I do eat things I shouldn't. Ice cream, cookies, you know, things like that, but it's moderation, honestly. Force myself to eat right now. I really don't wanna eat, like I don't. Eating three pretty big slices of pizza. Eat to survive, whatever. If you guys don't agree with what I eat, cool. Whatever. I believe in moderation. I live the moderation lifestyle. Now, I am not a health professional. I am not a nutritionist. But what I do know is a standard man and a standard woman, you average out, a, out around, you know, 15 to like 2,500 calories per day. That's typically the range in which normal people average food that are normal, you know, body weight to a normal healthy height and stuff like that. You mentioned earlier, 6,000 calories is something that um, is actually quite normal in her diet. And I know it's 6,000, um, and I'll just let her explain to you some, um, calorie information, and I'll let you decide. Hey guys! So this is like a what I ate today type video. I'm super excited to film this, and today my goal is to stay around 1,600 calories. I'm not really sure, like, what I'm gonna eat exactly. It's, like, always up in the air. If, see my whole thing is like my goal is usually like 1600, but if I go to 2000, then it's not gonna hurt me because I can lose weight eating like 24. So by giving myself a 1600 calorie limit, I know I'm gonna go over a few hundred. So if I give myself the actual 2400 calorie limit and I go over that, then I'm not gonna lose weight. So I'll give myself like something super small. So then if I do go over a little bit, I'll see. So does that make sense? I hope it does. So I'm going to show you everything I eat, even if I fall off track, which I have a feeling I might. I have been falling off track every day lately. And that's something that is messing with up here. Oh, oh my God, I can't God. believe it. That is brand new information. Um, I am gonna be getting help, I promise. Sure, Jan. This is something that is in the works. I am pretty freaking pumped and I just can't wait. I honestly can't wait. But here's everything I ate today. So here is my first meal. This is usually what I have when I first wake up because it's simple, easy, low calorie, tastes good. And to me, it's not that unhealthy. And I don't really like eating when I first wake up, but this works. So it's three pieces of bacon, it's two scrambled eggs, no oil, no butter, just everything but the bagel seasoning, and I love it, super good. So for the two eggs, only 120 calories. Like I said, this is super low calorie. The three slices of bacon is only 90 calories. So for the whole meal, which I'm not titling it, breakfast, lunch, dinner, nothing like that because every day I have a different amount of meals. One day I'll just have one meal, Next day I'll have four, so who knows. But for this whole meal is only 210 calories. 
So this is a typical day for me where I wake up and I think I'm going to be on track, but then somehow I end up failing. So I'm actually kind of glad that I chose this day to do a what I eat in a day video so I can show you guys what I do to myself, how many calories I eat when I'm actually off track and fail in the middle of the day. So I decided to have Subway. So that's that. I got two bags of chips. Why? I don't know. I Sometimes I feel like I can't control myself and that's honestly the bottom line. I honestly can't make any excuses. And I always have to have something sweet after I eat when I am not on track. One of the things that you'll find with Amber is that she often reveals why she hasn't lost weight by her own words and her own statements. It is things like this. You know, I have to have sweets after I eat. Uh, you don't have to. Nobody needs to have sweets after they eat. You don't have to have a dessert after every meal that you have. It is statements like this that is, is why her audience doesn't like her, which is why she's lost so many subscribers, is because she's been doing this for over six years. The same spiel, the same words, the same excuses, the same sort of justifying everything with, I have to have it, I have to do it this way, I, I can't, you know, do things the way that I want to. The problem is she pretends that she's losing weight. Her channel is not a weight loss channel. It is a weight gain channel and that has all, over the six years, it's been documented. There's hundreds of videos documenting this. January 2019, at 560 pounds. I'm doing a front shot, both sides, and a back shot. I want to use this to motivate me, to motivate others. I want to be able to come back on here and see changes. I will be posting them monthly. I want to wear the same exact outfit so I can get a better reading. And I also walk forward and I walk backwards just to get an idea of where I'm at. And you can tell just by the things that she chooses to eat and then makes excuses for why she's eating it. So for the Subway sandwich was 580 calories, which isn't horrible. But then I decided to have two cookies, which came out to 420 calories for both. And plus both bags of chips together was 470 calories. So for that full meal was 1,470 calories. So for today, I'm currently at 1,680 calories. So what I decided to have for dinner is Mexican food. So I was not able to count the calories on this because they didn't have calories on their menu. But on their menu, this is called a Papa Mexicana, which is fries with chicken, onion, bell pepper, and cheese. I'm gonna be honest, that looks absolutely delicious, but here's the problem. You hit your calorie intake for that day, 16 whatever it was, 1600, and that's where you needed to stop. You need to stop eating. Drink some water, drink some liquids. At that point, you hit the, the calorie limit that you were trying to maintain, uh, maintain under 2000, so don't go over it. No matter how, how much your stomach hurts, don't do it. Your hunger pains, don't do it. But no, you select one of the, I mean, Mexican food's delicious. I love Mexican food. It's one of my, I, I, I love it. Don't, like, I, I'm, I'm salivating actually just from seeing that photo, but it, it's potatoes. Those are French fries covered in, in cheese. Yeah, there's some onions, there's some uh, peppers, uh, maybe even a little tomatoes, some broccoli in there, I don't know. Um, but. You know, you can have some pieces of that, and that's yummy. It's it's a looks like a yummy meal, but that meal itself is riddled with insane amount of carbs because you're eating potatoes, French fries with cheese on them. And it's one of my most favorite go-to meals when I don't feel like cooking. It's not healthy at all, and I always get chips and salsa. <laughs> 
obviously. So this was before I ate on them. And then this is after. So I did not finish them. I never do, but I did eat a lot. And then I always get a side of rice and sometimes I get two sides. So for dessert, I had mint chocolate chip ice cream. And this might be weird to some people, but I like to have my mint chocolate chip ice cream. Well, actually any ice cream, let's be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I like to have any ice cream with milk. I've been doing it since I was a little girl. My mom likes to do it. So I guess I just like doing it as well. It's really good like that. So for the full day, I had around 3000 plus calories and this was not a binge day. This was just me overeating and not caring at all what I was eating. So on a day where I binge, I would have ate probably around 6,000. Well, that is a news to me. I've never known anyone to add milk to their ice cream, unless you're getting a milkshake or something. But this is completely counterproductive and results, it's an, un it's an unnecessary act. The dessert's completely unnecessary. You don't need that. But the fact that you have an unnecessary dessert, that you combine it with already more dairy. I don't know if you know this, Amber, but ice cream's already is milk. It already is dairy. By adding more milk, you're even adding more calories that are completely unnecessary. An unnecessary dessert, unnecessary dairy, which adds on more calories that's already riddled with more. Like, I, I can't... I can't fathom this. This this frustrates me. So I understand why her videos get massively disliked. Why every single comment, if you go to her video, is people really just making statements about how she's unreliable, that she's untrustworthy, that she is in fact delusional. Hey guys, so that's the end of this video. As you can tell, I went over calories and I fell off track. And instead of, you know, just skipping out on the video or just ignoring the fact that I fell off track. I admitted to that and I feel like that's actually a good thing. Amber, here's the problem with being like, you just said it's a bad thing, but it's also a good thing because you were honest with yourself. It's really, I, I really strive to encourage anybody to be honest with themselves. But the fundamental problem with being honest with yourself is if you're honest with yourself, you have to have change with that honesty. There's a lot of people on this platform who have been honest with themselves on certain things. Like, yeah, I did this. The problem is if particular behaviors don't change um, with a certain someone on YouTube that I can't really talk about until after January 24th, um, <laughs> elephant in the room, I had to kind of make a reference to that. But being honest with yourself means that you have to knowingly change that behavior or change and work towards progressing towards that, changing that problem. These virtual pat on your backs, like, yeah, I was honest with myself, but no change comes from it. That doesn't, that is, doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Genuine, authentic change and growth and a desire to accomplish your goals or your weight loss journey has to be done with you being honest with yourself, but also a motive and incentive to actually do it. Words don't mean anything without actions, but you can also commit actions without words. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a short introduction to Amber Lynn, but I want to promise you that the upcoming X-Files 2, episode 2 on Amber, will be much more in-depth considering that this was just a surface introduction into the personhood of Amber. In episode 2 of the Amber Files, we're going to be diving into particular people that she's been in relationships with and some of the things that have involved with false accusations that it is extremely, extremely serious and that com completely can destroy somebody's self-esteem and push them over the edge. I'm not making it up. It, go it gets really dark very, very fast and really screwed up. But overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys all next week for a different style video that I've never made on this channel. Peace and have a great rest of your weekend.